And we're off the right. Oh. And we're off the right. Oh, goodness me. Big off the right. That's for that. That's uh, George Grant off into the tyres. I hope he's okay. He's got his hands on his head, hoping that he's all right. That was quite a hefty hit into the tyres. I do hope George is okay. Now, that's a pleasing sight, at least, that George Grant is up and getting out of the car. Of course, he will go to the medical centre to be checked over by the medicals. And again, a massive hand to all the marshals and recovery teams and medical crews that are around the circuit because they all give their time and their free effort to make sure that they're okay. And George Grant was con conversing there with one or two of the, the medical staff just to kind of see what happened. And... Uh, just communicating that. He's not had the luckiest of weekends as George this weekend. He had a, he's involved in the incident uh, which caused, the, which saw us have to have an early stoppage in the first race. And fortunately, in just two laps in, involved in another one. But as I say, he's up and about and walking, but he's also waved to the crowd as well. He's ever the, uh, he's ever, he's a fantastic uh, chap, is George, right? And we do appreciate all the support that he gives as well for uh, not just uh, the MX5 Super Cup, but also for BRSEC in general. He's a very enthusiastic racer and a wonderful. Um, uh, a, a wonderful uh, ambassador for, for the championship in terms of MX5 Super Cup and MX5 in general. So uh, we appreciate all the support and it's good to see at least he's, he's up and about and walking. But as a precaution for any incident, drivers do have to go to the medical centre just to be checked over because you never know. You could be up and about and walking but all of a sudden the doctors might spot something and then it might be a case of then they have to look at it further. But the initial signs show that George appears to be up and about and walking and that's a positive and that's all good.